All right. We got a very interesting question here from uh, Monica. She asked me, how are we living the energy of our characters in rehearsal and in life? This is a very good one because there is usually a bit of a spillover, actually so much that my boyfriend mentions there should be a support group for the partners of actors because they have to live with the character too. Um, yeah, the energy spills over, especially if you're seriously researching the character <clears throat> because you have to feel it. And um, when I was working on Madahari, I would get suddenly flowers from strange men and they would be delivered at strange places. Uh, this was not, you know, the usual thing that would happen to me. And um, when I was working on the character of a man for a couple of days, I got competition from other men. It was almost impossible to order a pizza slice because all the cute blonde, you know, favors I would usually get, they were gone <laughs> because of this energy. So it does spill over. And what you can do is in rehearsal, you can warn your other colleagues, listen, if I'm in character, you know, know that it's not me or you can warn them a little bit, especially if you have to go in a heavy emotion. And uh, the other thing is you can sometimes shake it off or have certain rituals to, you know, be able to do the rest of your life again. So you can take your costume off or you can take a shower or anything else that for you signals, OK, I'm just putting the role aside now and I'll come back to it later. Okay, Monica, I hope this answers your question. Good luck with your role. I'm very happy for you.